Hello! Today we're going to head out to Phoenix. I'm going to take a little drive in downtown Phoenix. I'm going to bring you along. It's holidays 2020. It's Monday, just after Thanksgiving. And the city had a really strange weekend. So a lot of people traveling in and out of the market, a lot of people traveling through the highways, but word on the street is there just wasn't a lot going on downtown. So I thought we could go check it out, take a little drive around, look at places that we maybe otherwise would have seen as a holiday setup and activities, and just see what we're looking at. As always, thanks for coming along. And remember, if you like these videos, if you like the area around Phoenix or some of my other travel videos, please be sure to subscribe. Also, click the like button and the bell to stay up to date on the latest videos from my channel. So as I mentioned, 2020, December, just an interesting year to say the least. And the holidays have been kind of disruptive, or I should say disruptive, downtown. Meanwhile, while this is all going on, we're seeing a ton of construction. Projects are popping up everywhere. You can see in the foreground here, if they slow down a little bit, the uh, Arizona State University coming up. The downtown campus has just been growing so much, which seems a little at odds with what we would be used to seeing, right, with the pandemic. But in fact, construction projects continue. It's good to see the growth. This is Central. Central is the main divider line for the streets in Phoenix. So we just crossed over from the avenues to the streets. Let's see, there's a road closure here. So we're going to head downtown to Cityscape, which is an area that would have had ice skating and some other activities for the holidays. We're going to check it out. Heading south here, down towards Washington. A lot of these streets you may notice are actually named after former presidents. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention that Phoenix is actually on a grid pattern. It's very easy to find your way around for the most part, even downtown, because it is everything's north, south, or east and west. So as I mentioned, here is Arizona State. University downtown campus. This has a strong nursing school, and it's also known for its broadcasting school. A lot of construction. Up ahead's Van Buren, one of the two main arteries that goes through town. It's kind of east to west. If you look at my other videos of downtown and traveling around, you'll notice Van Buren was a central street on most of them. Van Buren, Jefferson, Washington are all the main through fares from the east to the west. From where we sit right now, if we were to go left, we could head out towards the airport. That's where we would end up, out towards Tempe, out towards the airport. If you headed right, you'd end over on Grand Avenue. Grand Avenue is featured in my downtown Phoenix video and it's the one street that really runs at a diagonal kind of cuts through the grid pack. Downtown Phoenix is a lot of different types of buildings you're looking at. A lot of new construction that have happened maybe in the last 15 years and they've got a very modern, very sleek look to them, including the WeWork building around the left. Lines building. 
And then you also have more of the historic buildings, or ones that look that, you know, look to keep that look. Coming up on Washington now. Pre-pandemic, this was a large downtown shopping area. It's been hit really, really hard. It's also right up here was where the ice skating rink for the holidays would be. And this year they're not doing it. take a left here on Jefferson and that'll bring us right in front of where the Phoenix Suns play their home arena it's called the Legends District and they'll also have the America West arena Fry's Plaza out in front and then we'll be on top of Chase Field, and Chase Field's actually where the Arizona Diamondback baseball team comes as well. You can really see all the construction. A lot of road work. Sorry, it's growing really fast. But I was. No basketball games going on right now. No baseball games, obviously. And you can see this whole section is set up for sports, the food. And then the convention center here on the left. And soon, as we get through Point State, get back to some semblance of normal, I think this area is going to really come back to life. This is an exciting area, especially when you have baseball and basketball going on at the same time. This area is worth hopping. Part of our drive around today, we're going to take a left heading back up to Washington and then back down in front of the cityscape. And we will have had an opportunity to see Arizona State up ahead, University of Arizona, kind of get a good view from this angle. You can kind of see on the left all of the hotels. So you have the Sheraton, and then you have the APS building, that is the local power concern, one of the largest power companies in the southwest. These lights are kind of long, the roads are so wide that I think they give everybody a really nice opportunity to get across, but when you're doing some drive around town, it can sometimes be worse than traffic. I know this is always an area where people talk about sitting and watching a video and just sitting in a stop block, but if you hang on, we'll uh, get going here in a second. On the left, we should be seeing, coming up soon as we start to turn, the Arizona Science Center, which is a very nice, very well laid out museum in honor of science that crosses over from parking and is actually right on the back side of the convention center.
If we're going to go down Washington, there's going to be a lot of construction, as I mentioned, some on the convention center, as you can see here, and then some as we get down closer to the cityscape shopping center. This construction, I guess you could say it's all being done at a good time. This traffic is so light downtown with everybody working remotely. This is an area also where the rock and roll marathon would take place. Sign-ups would be up here on the left of the convention center, and then the route would come through here. So here we're back into the cityscape Washington corridor. Lots of restaurants, as you can see on the left. Very highly rated outdoor seating is always a thing in Arizona, especially this time of year. I think, I don't know, I don't know if I mentioned it, but it's 66 degrees and sunny and on December 1st. This is the time of year where living in Arizona is a delight. You've, you've earned it through your July and August. So where normally they would have the skating rink right here on the left, it's all now being closed down for street construction. Between the pandemic, the early summer protests, and the construction, life in the downtown corridor has been difficult for businesses. And it's too bad. Some of them have noticeably left the area. Some of the businesses on the left, and then some have hung on. Now we're entering into sort of the capital area, if you will, and these are your Maricopa County, which is Phoenix County, uh, largest county in America, I believe. So as you can see, coming out of this parking garage area and into a little bit of older neighborhood, growth is where it's at, downtown. I'm sure that people will come back as things settle in. There's talk of all sorts of changes and hope on the horizon. But you can see on the right-hand side, the Van Buren, which is a famous eatery, and it's a concert venue where you can go in and get a very intimate concert experience um, with some pretty big bands. I know AGR played there recently. The growth is where it's at downtown and Phoenix is definitely not slowing down. It's a lot to see. I love taking these drives around downtown. I hope you guys like coming along. Hope you stayed with us. If you did, make sure that you take the time to subscribe to my channel and I will continue to make travel videos from the windshield view if you will and have some good conversations around the southwest. And check out my other videos. Uh, we were out in Southern California where we were on the Pacific Coast Highway, San Diego, as well as Los Angeles, Griffith Park, Hollywood, and then we went out to Vegas. So if you haven't, Take an opportunity to check out my other videos. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. 
hit the like button and the bell to stay up to date on my latest videos. I have so much fun making them. Thanks for coming along. And as always, thank you so much for watching.